We now have infinite plastic. So no longer do we need to worry about this setup over here. This is unnecessary and uh, un unneeded. So we'll throw you down. And all we'll do is we'll have an end of fluid conduit moving over into our good old friend, the plastic mixer. And we should pretty much be able to make as much plastic as our heart desires. Always active plastic galore. We do have to put in rose red, lapis lazuli and cactus green all of which thankfully do have an EMC value. So if you need more of those, we can just grab it and then we can just go ahead and uh, click the black plastic button as often as we like. I don't know if you can like shift or control click to get like a full stack. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like you can. So we might have to just click this quite a few times here to get all the black plastic. But uh, if we go ahead and look at the Chaos Plank recipe here, the first thing that I think we're gonna make in today's episode is the creative compressor. Because as I mentioned before, we need quite a lot of these advanced PCBs. Each advanced PCB needs a printed circuit board and the printed circuit board is made with transistors and capacitors, both of which are made in a pressure chamber. And the pressure chamber becomes a lot easier to use if you have the creative pressure the creative compressor, which can create pressure of any amount that you like instantaneously. So to make this, we need a ton of black plastic, which we're getting right now. We need infinity ingots, which we've got. We need four purple plastic, creative essence, compressed iron gears, which are pretty easy to make. The compressed iron doesn't have an EMC, and it is also used to make the pressure chamber valves, which we're going to need quite a few of. Uh, how much of that iron do we have? We've got 123, which might actually be enough in fairness, although even if it's not, it shouldn't be too difficult to get more of it. It's just iron with TNT. You just blow up iron. Uh, hit lock selection. It makes it automatically. Oh, look at that. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That is uh, significantly easier than what I was trying to do there. Thank you very much. You saved my mouse many clicks. So let's see here. Let's grab some of that pressurized iron. Uh, let's also start filling in some of these uh, items here. So um, around the middle, we've got uh, the four purple plastic, which I should go and grab real quick from our new plastic friend. And uh, again, we'll do the same thing. We'll just hit lock and make a full stack of it. It really doesn't matter. At this point in time, we've got an infinite amount of plastic. The only thing we're wasting is um, this here. And I don't know if I showed you, but between streams, between most of the streams, we've had issues with the base like not working or not chunk loading or things not loading properly. I think this is one of the first times where the base has been running 24 hours a day. It's been running fully non-stop between streams. And if we look in the transmutation table, we now have 1.4 quadrillion EMC, which if we go over to our personal EMC link is 1.45 P of EMC. That's a ridiculous amount of EMC that we have right there. And uh, should be more than enough to craft anything that we like in the pack, including those two uh, Voy uh, colossal style Amigas that we need to make the two uh, quarry fragments here. So uh, anyway, jumping back over into Pneumatic Craft real quick. Let's see about crafting some of this stuff up real quick. I know the compressed iron gears are made in here. And of course, does require a little bit more in the way of compressed iron. That's not too bad. What else do we need here? We need the uh, pressure gauge. Again, not too difficult. Just some gold and some compressed iron. We need an air canister, which again is actually extremely easy to make. Um, a lot of this stuff, pretty easy stuff. Creative essence, we should have. We do. One, two, three, four. We then need how many valves? 20, five on each side of these uh, pressure chamber valves, which require compressed iron with pressure tubes. You do make 16 at a time. And so if we just go and crack out 32 of those, that is that bit taken care of. And then now, actually all we need is uh, four capacitors and four transistors. And that is where we have to actually go ahead and make our first compressor. And so for that, let me go ahead and type in pressure chamber. We need a pressure chamber wall like so, 16 should be enough. We need, we don't need pressure chamber glass, but I think I'm gonna make some just because it's gonna be useful to have. And then we also, I believe, need a pressure chamber valve and we already got excess pressure chamber valves. And so I think that is pretty much all you need to set up a very basic pressure chamber, uh, which looks something like this. It's a three by three made out of pressure chamber wall. I am gonna put in a little bit of pressure chamber glass just so we can see what's going on inside of the machine like so. And then we also have to have one of these guys, the pressure chamber valve on one of the sides like so. And then I think that should, once we get a little bit more in the way of uh, pressure chamber wall, and uh, that should form up into a pressure chamber. Nice. Now I do think that we don't have sound on. Yeah, we don't. Let me turn that up real quick. So 
Get rid of some of this stuff here. We do now need a way of actually increasing the pressure inside of this machine. Right now it's at zero. Uh, the easiest way I think to do that is probably with the air compressor, which is actually maybe just called the compressor. This guy right here, you know, it's called the air compressor. Exactly. This guy right here. So this is extremely temporary because very soon we're going to get a creative compressor, which is going to give us infinite amounts of compression, as much compression or as little compression as we need. And to make this work, we just need to get some of those pressure tubes, which we have in here. We don't have enough of them, though. So real quick, let's go and craft another eight of those. And so if we do this, we should now be able to increase the pressure inside of our pressure chamber. And if we look at the recipe for the capacitor, it is one cyan plastic, one compressed iron ingot, and one redstone. So we need four cyan plastic, four compressed iron ingots, and four redstone. That should not be too difficult. Cyan plastic, let's uh, lock that in. There we go. And then for the other guy, the transistor, we need the same thing, but with black plastic, we've got a ton of black plastic. And so right now, all we're missing is redstone. So essentially, this is the jankiest way to do this. But if I uh, throw some of the stuff in my inventory into the system real quick to free up some space, what I am going to do here is I'm going to throw in one, two, three, four redstone, one, two, three, four compressed iron, and one, two, three, four cyan plastic. And unfortunately, I do have, let me, okay, for, hold on real quick. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my ability bottle and I'm going to disable the uh, other guy. I want to take off magnetize. There we go, because I'm fed up of pulling items back when I don't want to. So one, two, three, four, redstone. One, two, three, four, cyan plastic. And one, two, three, four, compressed iron into there. And then if we close this up, we should then be able to begin increasing the pressure using our air compressor here, which just burns any kind of fuel you like. In our case, we're going to use something like coal in there. And that should slowly but surely begin to increase the pressure of the air compressor, sending it through the pressure tubes and increase the pressure in here. And again, if we look at the recipe, I think we only need a pressure of one bar. So we only need this uh, little file here to get up to one, at which point this should be good to go. And it should turn all three of those items into four capacitors yep at which point we'll do the same thing with the transistors and at that point we will have ourselves a creative compressor at which point we can make as many transistors and capacitors as we like so this is at 0.9 bars it's now at one bar and so we should any second now see all three of those items transform into there we go kapow good stuff so as was mentioned we are going to i'm going to take this out real quick we are going to lose our pressure in here now but that is fine we got what we're after so we're going to do the same again we're going to go ahead and open the top up. We're going to put in four redstone, four black plastic, and four compressed iron. Fill in the top. And once again, as soon as we get back up to one bar, we didn't even go down to zero. We're still at half bar pressure there. If we get back up to uh, full pressure, we, uh, we should be good to make the creative compressor. Boom. Creative compressor. Nice. So now we can just come over here. We can replace this guy with a creative compressor. And now we can just set the bar that we want. So for example, previously we needed one bar. Boom. You know, we've got one bar. It's going to bump that up. And the pressure is at one bar. It's nice and fast. So that is not going to be a problem. So let's see here. If we want to make the empty PCB, it was uh, green dye and compressed iron or green plastic and compressed iron. Okay. So let's take out the, let's unlock this. And then let's lock it in on green plastic so we can make some green plastic real quick. We'll then dump the yellow plastic in there. We'll come back to that in a second here. For now, though, we're going to once again break this open. And we're going to throw in, let's say, like 10 compressed iron. And 10 green plastic. Like that. And I don't know what the pressure needs to be here. I'm assuming it's 1. 1.5. So we'll just bump it up to two. I think two will still do the job just fine. There we go. That's done. So you can see now that we have the creative compressor, this is very fast. And so that gets us the empty PCBs. Now, we can put those in etching acid to get unassembled PCBs. So you, hmm. Etching acid. How do we get etching acid? Spider eye, water bucket, green plastic, rotten flesh, and gunpowder. So I'm thinking here, chat. We need, how many advanced PCBs do we need? You get four at a time, and we need eight for this. 
We then need, I think, a few more for this. We do we need three, six, nine, twelve. So we need twenty so far. Is that all we need? Twenty, twenty of these. Now, does anyone know if putting the empty PCB into the etching acid does that use up the etching acid, or is that just taken care of? Because what I'm thinking right now is if we only need twenty PCBs, we you make four at a time, so we really only need five printed circuit boards or five unassembled PCBs, I should say. And if I can just drop five of them into acid and just wait five minutes and then I've got everything, it doesn't use it. I'm just thinking, why don't we just make, you know, we've got 10 of these empty PCBs. If I just throw them all in acid, at that point, we don't have to bother with this, the assembly controller, I don't think. I think we can just make all of the uh, advanced PCBs that we need. Let's give it a try. So etching acid, spider eye, green plastic, rotten flesh, gunpowder. Spider eye, rotten flesh, uh, gunpowder, and a bucket of good old fashioned water with green plastic, which of course we already have. So we'll grab some water from our sink. It's only one of each item. So we'll just throw in. Is it? No, it's not one of each item, is it? It's one bucket of water, but then it is. Two of each item. Okay. That is fine. One, two. You, one, two. You, one, two. You, and one, two. You. Nice. And then we'll fill that in, of course, with wall. And then it's done. <laughs> because the pressure is already there. Beautiful. Okay. My inventory is full of things we do not need at this point in time. We will, of course, rebuild this. Uh, so now we have the etching acid. I'm assuming that what we can do here is if we just grab four cobblestone. We can do something like this, one, two, three, four, and then just drop 10 of these into etching acid and wait five minutes. Throw in the empty PCB, which has been exposed to a UV light. Ooh, do I need to, uh, oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, I see. It need. I think we need to UV light it first. I don't know if it's strictly necessary. Oh my, we need to buy a, a PCB blueprint. I'm assuming that we do have to expose it to UV light. The etching process is underway, but I'm assuming maybe we fail if we don't have it UV'd first. All right, let's see real quick. Can we make this thing? One, two, three. And then the pressure tube, I think we didn't have. Everything else we've got apart from the PCB blueprint. Surely. I mean, this is actually not too bad, making the uh, the tablet here. And I think the tablet kind of just acts as a way to, to let us, like, purchase things. So let's make some red plastic real quick. And let's see if we can actually make this happen. So we'll bookmark this real quick. Actually, I'll bookmark this. So this is easy enough. What else do we need? We need you, which is also easy enough. And then gray plastic, which we might have. We don't. Would have been far too easy. Gray plastic, lock that in. Beautiful. All right. I think we might have everything that it takes here. This is the air canister, which it did not shift clicking, but that is fine. Okay. So this does need pressure. And I do not remember how this is actually turned on. Not enough pressure. Okay. So there is a machine that allows us to charge this. The charging station is probably. If I were to guess, one of the best places to start. So if we do this, and then we put this on like so, I'm not quite sure. Oh, that's not what I want to do. I just want to put you in, in here. Oh no, it's getting pressure. If I set this to like a high pressure, then the pipes break. Okay, let's uh, <laughs> let's lower that. I think five bar might be like the highest these can take. That's fine. So real quick, can I open this? I can. So if I get eight emeralds. And I put those in. You need to set a chest for it to go to. Mmm. We did, uh, Nick and I did play with this in a mod pack a long time ago. We used this to like deliver oil to us. Okay, there we go. So now can I purchase? No, I still cannot purchase this. Let me, uh, let me read this info a bit a little bit more. A pickup slash drop off location must be specified. Oh, do we need... 
Can I put my emeralds in here? There we go. Okay. So now I would like to put I would like to place my order for one of these. And I believe at that point, a drone is going to come and this is the future right here. A drone is going to come and take payment and deliver my PCB. Look at this. Hello, my friend. Maybe it's two separate drones. Oh, no, there we go. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, server is going to restart in one minute, which is just perfect. But we can now make the UV light box. Nice. And then in there, we can... Uh, I don't know if this needs pressure or not. I assume maybe. Yes, it does. So we'll take you. We'll put that down over on this side, like so. And we'll stick in our PCBs. Now, it does say... Like, if I press U on this thing, it does say that this takes 10 minutes. Although it doesn't look... Oh, no, so I see the etch success chance is going up. So if we get the etch success chance up to 100%, then we can make this work. Okay, in that case, real quick, before the server restarts, which is definitely not going to happen, can I purchase, like... I'd like to place an order. I'm doing a lot of clicking here. Oh, it's right click for some reason. There we go. Server's restarting. Okay. We should be able to produce like 10 light boxes. If we make 10 light boxes, we can put them all down. We've got the creative compressor to just produce all of the pressure that we need. We can get them all going. It shouldn't take more than a few minutes. It definitely didn't look like it was going to take 10 minutes. And then boom, we should be able to produce the circuit boards, at which point we can make as many of those advanced PCBs as we want, at which point I think we're done with new matter craft and we can move over to the next list. How is our etching acid it is done oh careful etching acid is uh dangerous it's done unassembled pcbs are ready to go so now to make the printed circuit boards and therefore the advanced pcbs we just need some capacitors some transistors and then some yellow plastic and redstone easy peasy so you break into here first things first we're going to do the one of the two we need black plastic we'll do a stack and we need redstone, we'll do a stack. And we need compressed iron, we'll do a stack, sure. And then we'll go, I don't think we need a stack, but boom, boom, boom. Close that up. And that should be 64 capacitors. Nice. Take those out. And then the other one, let me check real quick, is the, uh, we did the transistors. Now we're doing the capacitors. We need cyan plastic. We've got 15. I don't really think we need a stack, to be fair. But uh, I will go ahead and unlock, relock Cyan. We'll make 35 of these, I guess, in that scenario. So I'll put you away. We'll get 35 redstone and then compressed iron. Uh, the reason I'm not making a stack is because we don't have a stack of compressed iron here. But we do definitely have 35. And so... You, you you and lock it up and boom 35 capacitors nice it's just that easy so 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 finally back over here let me see if i can make this happen so boom drop all these in make 10 printed circuit boards and then boom we did make yellow plastic earlier that's 12 advanced pcbs we do have what it takes to make more, though. I think we only need 20. I'll make 24 just to be safe, but I think we only need 20 of the advanced PCBs. So we can start to fill these in around here. I think it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is definitely coming together now, though. I'm very happy about that. And then the other PCBs were for the creative generator here, which also at this point is not too bad. The hardest part is going to be the ultimate induction provider. We need four of them, and they are just a pit, like a mechanism nightmare in that they have to go through every stage of mechanism. So that's the only hard part there. We've got all of the, the rest of the stuff here and the energy cores do have an EMC value. And so that's all looking good. However, let's get back real quick to trying to make the creative mill. So we need four of each mill here, which shouldn't be too bad. We do need some resonating gems, aka resonating redstone crystals. Do the... Ender shards have an EMC? They don't. However, they're also very easy to make. And I would be surprised if we don't have a glass cutter. We do. Nice. So I'll go get a few of these. Why not? We've got as many ender pearls as our hearts desire. 
And then we'll go and we'll make a ton of these. Nice. And then four of you. One, two, three, and four. Four of the water variety, which does require a couple of gears. Thankfully, the gears do have an EMC. Kapow. And boom. Good stuff. One, two, three, four of you. We also need, you guessed it, the windmills. One, two, three, four of you. And we also need to get ourselves uh, four of the fire mills, which do require uh, nether fence, which we have all but one nether fence, because of course, why wouldn't we just have all of the items? That would be too easy. Uh, is it nether brick fence? Yes, it is. Boom and boom. Nice. So I think that's pretty much everything that we need on that front there. Let me check this again. Uh, so yep, four of each. We then need Neutronium, which we have. And we need Infinity Ingots, which of course we have. So let us see here. What are we missing? We're missing one Dragon Egg Mill, four Creative Essence, a Manual Mill, and then 20 Ironwood Ingots. Yes. So the Dragon Egg Mill is definitely makeable. We've made multiple of them throughout the series so far. Boom and boom. And so now, Creative Essence. One, two, three, four. And finally, the Ironwood. Now, the Ironwood is from the Twilight Forest and requires that we smelt some raw Ironwood materials. You get two at a time. And so if we use our furnace behind us, we should get four at a time. And it's made from iron live root and gold nuggets so i'm hoping and thinking that live root is not that hard to get in the twilight forest i will however go and check but i think it should be pretty easy to come by because like this works but we only got six and we need at least 10 which actually is not too bad i guess right uh, if we can smelt it into two and if we can smelt that actually into four that means that we actually don't even need that many, right? We need five. We might actually have enough. Let me check real quick. Slash home. Is, is five enough? If I craft these up into the components, and then I smelt those in here with a doubling upgrade, perfect. <laughs> okay. So it's actually very easy. And then now we're just missing the manual mill. Boom. Nice. Creative mill. Acquired. Beautiful. So we're going to stick you in over there. And what else were we missing? So uh, the creative compressor, I don't think we need any more pneumatic craft. I think we can actually put our creative compressor in here now. So I'm going to grab that real quick. Uh, we also have the creative tank. I don't know if the creative tank has to be empty. I hope it doesn't because we have a creative tank and it's full. So for now, you can go in right about there for safekeeping. But this is definitely coming together. Uh, we're missing one Chaos Ingot at the top there. Like that. And now, I think, yeah, what, what are we missing now? We need to get ourselves the Osmium Crystal. Uh, these Quarry Fragments, I think, are definitely doable. So, real quick, let me dump some of this stuff out. Someone in the comment section on a YouTube video did tell me that uh, we can actually get Quarry Fragments from a Mob Drop but that we have to use one of the Koi Fragments to get to the dimension that has the mob that drops them. And given that we only need two of these, I think I'm just going to go ahead and make two of them. Because we've already got the Omega. We uh, we got that earlier with all of our 1.4 quadrillion EMC that we had. And then the Fabric, I'm fairly certain we also... The Void Stars we also got. All four of them. Right? I know the cloth's in here. We definitely did get those stars. Wait, hold on. Am I misremembering this? Yeah, no, 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 no. We fought many, many bosses to get the Void Stars. It's not a huge deal if we don't have them. We can get them again, but I would very much so prefer to not do that. I didn't make the actual... I definitely didn't make... Knowing you in a trash can. I know I avoided... <laughs> I know I avoided the one, but I'm fairly certain I kept... That we made four. We got four more and made them. Uh, let's see if we got the spawns in here. Spawn... Yes, we got these guys. The spawn Void Wraith and the spawn... Uh, void Wrath. Let me bookmark this as well. Uh, we need like one of every matter. Which is going to take a fair bit of EMC here. I don't know if we need like actually one of every matter. There are quite a few of them. Let me uh, check real quick. 
We need green, lime, yellow, orange. Mag Let me ch hold on. Matter. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. We definitely don't need all of them. Three, six, nine. Oh, no, we do. Okay, that's fine. So we need just two of each of these. Some of these are more expensive than others. Like this one, 87G, 29G, 9G, 3G, 1G. That one's just in the hundreds of millions. There we go. I think, the, I think they go like in reverse order here. Yeah, okay. That's fine. So we got all of those. That is easy enough. The Hell Shelf. Oh. Oh, okay. So that's not too bad. I thought that was going to be like some whole of the mod that we had to go through. Thankfully, it's not. And we also need all the runes as well, as well as quite a lot of these mana infused plates, which thankfully do have an EMC value. So we'll take those. And I think I'll just start putting this stuff in. These don't stack, right? No, they don't. That's fine. Um, what have we got? We've got like, oh, I'm missing pink matter. So we've got pink and purple. No, magenta and pink. Oh gosh, I don't have magenta either. I thought I got all of these. But apparently I don't have like the really cheap ones here. So it was pink and magenta. We also needed, other way around. Uh, we also needed yellow, orange, green, lime. So yellow, orange, green, and lime, which also looks kind of yellowish. And then purple, violet, cyan, blue, white, fading. Uh, purple, violet, Wait. Purple, violet, white, blue. So white, I thought we also had, but apparently not. And fading matter is also another one that we don't have. I think the fading matter is maybe the most expensive. Yes. But again, thankfully we have what it takes. So, like this. Yes, that is correct. Okay. <laughs> Look at the orange spot. The orange, yes, is also missing one. Like, so my white is. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. And then these guys go in, I believe, like this. Yes. Like that. That is correct. And then our eggs go either side, like this and like this. I think it's the other way around, like that, right? Yes. So the Void Stars, I really thought we had, but apparently we don't. That's fine. These all go around the corners, and we should stack two each time because we do need two of these. That's all good. And then they're also around the middle, like this. Beautiful. So what are we missing? We're missing, of course, the bookshelves, all of the runes, the Void Stars, apparently. We need four, four more Void Stars. I'm like... 3 million percent certain I made those and I'm almost certain I put them in like a chest somewhere to keep them safe and I've just forgotten where they are entirely. Yeah, I have no idea where those are. <laughs> we might just have to get some more, which is rather annoying because they're a bit of a pain to make, but not too bad. Rune-wise, these are mirrored, so we need two of each rune. So greed, wrath, pride, lust, gluttony, sloth, and envy. Let me bookmark those. And let me unbookmark some of the other stuff now that we don't need. So, what runes do we already have? I don't think we have any of them. Oh, we've got the two Wrath. That's good. So we'll unbookmark Wrath. We've got Water. We've got Spring. Autumn, Winter, Lust, and Earth. So we have Lust as well, so we can unbookmark that. Now, we did get these from fighting the Gaia. So we could potentially just go and fight more Gaias to try and get the, the runes that we're after. But it seems like it might just be easier to craft these. And it looks like we might need some of these earlier runes to make that happen. So I will take some of these as well. So let's see. We will take our creative mana pool out of here. We will place it down over here. And at that point, we can just grab ourselves a mana spreader. And uh, I guess, do the higher tiers of Mana Spreader not have an EMC value? They do have an EMC, nice. Okay, so we'll just take these instead. No need to use the uh, the old ones. And then boom. That should be able to connect up to there. That's all good. So let us see here. Rune of Gluttony. We need two Mana Diamonds, one Rune of Fire, and one Rune of Winter. Thankfully, you do get this stuff back. However, unfortunately, we don't have any Runes of Fire. So <laughs> real quick, Mana Powder, Mana Steel, uh, Nether Brick, 
gunpowder, nether wart. Mana... I know we need mana diamonds, so I'll grab those real quick. Uh, mana powder. Mana ingot. Not mana infused ingot, just a regular old... It's called mana steel, not mana ingot, you fool. Uh, we also needed a nether brick on top of gunpowder as well as another item. Nether what? of course. Beautiful, all right. So, let's see if we can make this happen. One, two, three, four, five. And it's ready to go. We do need our Wand of the Forest, of course, which might well be in my bag. It is, good stuff. Uh, we also need some Living Rock, which we don't have in our system, but we should have an infinite amount of in our transmutation table. We do indeed. Good stuff. And so really, these runes should not be too difficult. They're kind of like a shopping list more than anything else. And we're done. All right. We got so many freaking runes. So we've got Rune of Greed. Boom. Is it the same? No, it's completely mirrored. Okay. Rune of Greed. Rune of Wrath. Rune of Pride. Rune of Lust. Rune of Gluttony. Rune of Sloth. And Rune of Envy. We've done it. Okay. It's done. <laughs> 